we're going to take a, a gander here at a standard type of projectile motion problem. It says determine the position of a ball every quarter second after being launched from the ground level at an angle of 36.87 degrees from the horizontal and with a speed of 25 meters per second and look we get this wonderful caveat you get to neglect air resistance alright well how do we go about solving this problem that's what the problem is going to look like alright well let's begin by drawing what we know we have a vector here indicating the initial velocity the launch velocity of the ball it's got a speed of 25 meters per second in a direction that's 36.87 degrees above the horizontal. Now, I hope that I've brought home the point and maybe maybe it will come home better after we do this example. The first thing you need to do when you get your launch speed and direction, which together that's your launch velocity, the first thing you need to do is break it into its horizontal and vertical components. You probably, if, you're, if you want to really get into this, should pause the video right now and calculate the horizontal component that would be the adjacent side of this vector and the vertical component that would be the opposite side of this vector using your trig functions and see how fast is the the ball that was launched how fast is it going forward in the horizontal direction and how fast is it going upward initially in the vertical direction why do we do that because the horizontal and the vertical uh, components can be treated separately and independently so, I'm going to assume that you've done that, and I'm going to go on and give you the answers. It turns out if you, when you calculate this out, uh, use finding this and find this adjacent side, it, it comes out to 20.0 meters per second for, for a hypotenuse of 25 meters per second and 36.87 degrees. And the vertical turns out to be 15 meters per second the initial vertical velocity turns out to be 15 meters per second and again we can treat the vertical um, component of the motion of this ball completely separately from the horizontal motion of this ball I hope it's not lost on you that I've I've designed this so that we have the exact same velocities launch velocities as we had in our previous scenario right look at this we had 20 meters per second for our horizontal velocity and 15 meters per second for our vertical velocity. And what that means is we actually can do our two plots. They would look exactly like these. The vertical position of the ball would increase less and less and less as time went by and de and and then it would be the position would be uh, returning back to there would be bigger and bigger gains in the downward direction in the displacement of the ball so larger and larger negative values for displacement until the ball reached the person's hand uh, I'm sorry until the ball hit the ground in this in our case and since its launch velocity in the horizontal was 20 meters per second and since we're, we get to neglect air resistance there would be a constant velocity of 20 meters per second while the ball was in the air so as long as it was not touching the ground it'd still be going forward at 20 meters per second okay so I hope you this this makes sense to you we've got initial horizontal velocity of 20 meters per second initial vertical velocity of 15 meters per second what's what's that motion going to look like well we've already plotted it out as time goes by the vertical position of the ball is going to be changing in the upward direction it's going to be rising at first then brought to a stop by gravity then gradually sped up further and faster and faster on its way back down as time goes by so this time I'm not moving the background this time the projectile is moving uh, and the background staying stationary but that's just a matter of relative motion so the motion of the ball should look like this now since we've got a constant velocity in the forward direction constant increments of time should be, be equal to constant values of position in the horizontal only because there's no acceleration so we should see something more like this here's our originals our initials and look I've replaced constant amounts of time with constant amounts of 
displacement and here's how the the ball should look the motion of the ball should look as viewed from uh, from the side from a little ways back it should have gone 60 meters forward in the amount of time that was in the air I hope this helps you see how you can break down these problems and uh, divide and conquer so to speak you can use your constant acceleration formulas the five of them I've given you for the constant acceleration situation that's in the vertical and while you're doing that you ignore the horizontal and you can you can uh, do your constant velocity calculations for the horizontal because again gravity is not affecting the horizontal motion of this of this object and so you can use you can find the position at any time both in the vertical and in the horizontal separately using constant acceleration in the vertical constant velocity in the horizontal that's as easy as it is it's really that easy